baru Aquarium. What's the feeling? Very soft, very velvety. Here, you can see the road in the side of the road. You can see the road in the side of the road. You can see the road in the side of the road. You can see the road in the side of the road. This one is Dolly Water. It's another uh, rare species in Hokkaido. And according to uh, Japan Environmental Department, uh, it's categorized under near Triton. Okay, now the fish is eating. Normally, these uh, dolly wardens they live in, they distribute in Shiretaka Peninsula, which have the low water, lower water temperature, and they will eat some aquatic insects as a food. And now, due to some human activity like construction and overfishing, so the population is decreasing. Yeah, this one is Ezo Hotoke. It's a very cute fish. They also like to hide it under the rocks. Yeah, now they're eating, they were, it was eating also. Okay, now according to in Japan Environmental Department. This species was categorized under vulnerable. So it's like if the condition is getting worse, the living condition is getting worse, then they will become endangered. And this one is another species, but it's still preparing. Maybe the fish haven't adapt to the condition so it's called it we call it yachi ukui hopefully i pro i pronounce it correctly okay so they are in near triton uh, status so we should do something to protect it maybe Yeah, this one is Ezo Tomio. It's in Triton status now. But in this aquarium, I think it hides at somewhere and we cannot see it. Maybe the next time you guys come here, you can saw the fish.
。黄色の形をしていますが、しっかりと、黄色注目です。それぞれの位置について準備ができましたらトレーナーのサインでいきましょう見て、ね、見ててジャンプするから見ててトレーナーのサインをよく見てジャンプするよそれだけ決まりました拍手をお願いしますハオチオオプニエのバンダショーはい、まあ、ですね、<笑>えー、ここで皆様にお知らせいたしたいと思います。アコリオン、we have the Hokkaido rare species showcase. So the first one is Japanese purebred. Now they are due to the pollution, so the population of the Japanese crawfish is now decreasing. So they are categorized as rare species. And in here we can see the purebred. So you can see the information. Board is quite good because they have a lot of the information. Like this one is the something like red list, but according to Japan's environmental department. And in this one, they said they were just hiding. Normally, they were hiding under the stone, under the stone, and under the leaf. And here even have the information about how you wash the crayfish in this aquarium. Okay, let's find it out. And this one is Siberian salamander. Okay, so, okay normally they were living in the fresh water inside the wetland area, like Kushiro. They will eat some small insect as the food. And because of the residential area construction and farmland development, so it's made the quality of water become worse. Then will make the sedimenter very hard to living there anymore. So the population is decreasing now. And now they are in threatened status, according to Japan Environmental Department. So this is an observation tank. Then we can observe the fish. So okay, there is a reason why we do the why they do the tank is so that you can observe the fish and see creature. Of course, discover the behavior of the creatures. So this is an observation tank. 
In this tank, you can observe the behavior of the aquatic animal. Uh, for example, like this one, which is the thing here. Yeah, you can see the fish here. The fish lining this space. Okay, and we can see the starfish. Yeah, this is aquarium really nice. Full with the inside of education, educational purpose. Like they provide the information about the rare species. What else? Something like information about the invasive species also. They teach us a lot. Yeah, so like taking care of the injured animals. Mm. Like injured, like they keep them separated.